Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about a theorem in geometry known as the three parallel lines theorem. So let's read what it says. It says if three parallel lines intersect two transversals, then they divide the transversals proportional, proportionally. Excuse me. So we look at our diagram right here. Our three parallel lines are lines A, B, and C. We know that because we have those arrows right there which tells us they are parallel. And our transversals would be line D and line E. So here's what our proportionality theorem tells us with these three parallel lines. It just simply says the distance here, right, F to G over GH is proportional to JK over KL. And that's what we see right here on the right with this proportion. FG over GH is equal to JK over KL. So it divides the transversal proportionally, okay? So let's take a look at an example. It just says find the missing measure. So we have parallel lines right here. Notice we don't have the arrows like this, so we don't know that they're parallel because of that diagram. But what we do see is that these corresponding angles are congruent. They're corresponding because they're located in the same position. We know they're congruent because that's what that arc represents. So if we think back to um, an earlier video, parallel lines cut by a transversal, I'll link it to the top right corner of the video now. Uh, then we know if those corresponding angles are congruent, then that proves that the lines are parallel, okay? So these three would be our, these diagonal lines that we see, those are our parallel lines. And so this vertical line and this horizontal line, those would be considered our transversals. So we see we have 35 and X, so we could set up a ratio there, 35 over X is equal to, and now we wanna we want to say 30 over 12, okay? So now we could go ahead and cross multiply, but we can simplify 30 over 12 to make the math a little easier for us. So 35 over X, and let's say five over two, right? We divide 30 by six, we get five, and 12 divided by six is two. Now we can cross multiply, so five times X is five X, and 35 times two would be 70. Divide both sides by five, and we find our missing measure to be 14. And that is the three parallel lines theorem.